pages. Let's chat. Listen. So, why we take them back? That's the question. We're jumping right into it. Why we take them back? So, of course, as most things, it depends on the situation, depending on the circumstance. But why we take them back after they have hurt us significantly? You know, when you, that time when you take them back when um, you can't even tell your homegirls that y'all back together because you already know that they're going to be looking at you sideways. You can't really tell your people, them, your family that, hey, we back dealing with each other, you know. Or you on the phone with your sister or your auntie num, and then you just try to ease his name. Yeah, we had went out to dinner last night, man. You know, and she don't even comment on it. Cause she 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 can't even believe that you, you know, have his name in your mouth at this point. But you tell yourself that hey, I love him. You know, and that's pretty much the That is what you feel holds the bulk of the weight as to why you taking him back because you love him. As if somehow love dictates that you have to take him back just because you love him. Like we say that, you know, I love him, but I love him. You know, we say that as if that means that we got to put up with any and everything just because we love them. When a lot of times, you ain't even taking him back because you love him. That's what you tell yourself. You're taking him back because you don't want to be by yourself. A lot of times, you taking him back because you don't want to be alone. <clears throat> you taking him back because he's a part of your comfort zone. You have become accustomed to going to sleep at night and him being in the house or him being in the bed next to you. And you've done that for so long, now you can't even fall asleep without him. You taking him back because it soothes your soul. Having him there, it soothes you. Just like a pacifier. It's not necessarily providing any food, any nutrients, or anything like that for the baby. But it's soothing. So you take him back. He may not be paying any bills there. He may not be meeting any of your emotional needs. But it soothes you just having him there. You told yourself you took him back because... He the kid's daddy. At the same time, the example that he sets for the kids. You couldn't have took him back for that reason. Because he don't really set a good example for the kids. With how he, how he deals with the kids. Or with how he deals with you in front of the kids. He is their dad. But that's almost where it stops at. He's their biological dad. But you tell yourself, you know, I just, you know, I want my kids to have a dad whole time in your heart. You like, I wanted my kids to have a dad, but this wasn't the kind of dad that I wanted my kids to have. <clears throat> but he does. So you want him to stay there because because you don't want to be like your friends and, you know, raising your kids in a home where the dad is not present. You think that you're better than doing that. So you allow yourself to put up with a whole bunch of foolishness just for the sake of having, being able to say that dad is in the home. <clears throat> it make you feel better. 
and make you feel like you're not the statistics. You're not the single mom. I have multiple kids and I'm not married and dad is not in the home. It makes you feel like you're not them. So you take them back. You deal with it. You take them back. Because you, you, you don't want to hear about him being with somebody else. <clears throat> it will break your heart to hear that he's um, in another home with another woman and her kids. And he's showing up as super dad. They all on pictures with matching outfits and everything. He ain't even used to want to take a picture. I want you to post y'all um, on social media. But your worst nightmare is that he'll be over there with her and her family. Taking pictures and, you know, matching Christmas outfits and all of that. So you willing to endure the hurt, the, the, um, the embarrassment. You willing to endure that. You wouldn't take him back just so you don't have to explain to your homegirls why they saw that picture of him and um what's the name on social media. Why you don't have to deal with the humiliation of that. So you willing to take him back. Knowing that he's still going to be dealing with him. Knowing that. A lot of times in situations, you would take that man back knowing that he's in love with somebody else. Knowing he love her. He ain't just messing with her. They ain't just kicking it. Because he always mess with her. He continues. That one girl name, it rings over and over and over again. Like y'all know that song, if you from Florida. Oh, and oh, and oh. It's like that. Every time another female comes up, it's her. It's her. So you know that. No, he deals with her and he cares about her. He likes her. But you will take him back. Knowing that it's hard is somewhere else. You take him back. Because really, at the end of the day, you really kind of don't want her to end up with him. You know, you don't want her to end up with him. You pretty much don't even want him no more. But you will take him back because you trying to stop him from ending up with her. You take him back. Sometimes you take him back over pity. You feel sorry for him. He ain't really got nowhere to go. He don't really have no family. And the family that he have don't want him around. You feel sorry for him. And out of feeling sorry for him, he ends up being a burden for you. You take on the burden. As if you birthed him. Now he becomes your son. And then wonder why you don't talk to him with respect. Because he's a son to you. You there out of pity. You feel bad for him. You almost feel like you owe him something for some reason. Even though you don't owe him anything. But you feel a little obligation to, to him. Because there were times when he was really good to you. Or times when he went out his way and did this, that, or the third. So when he, you know, catch bad luck for some reason. Or really karma just coming back from his life choices you feel a, a level of an obligation to this man even though he has hurt you over and over and over on and on and on you take him back you take him back sometimes just because You finna get you some get back. You gonna make him feel what he's made you feel. 
you just need him to spin spin your block one more time and now you about to take him up down and through them you finna disrespect him you finna holler at his homeboy you finna make him feel what he's made you feel you finna embarrass him no respect whatsoever you staying out all night this time it's your house you pay the bills you can you gonna show him what it feel like to be home waiting not answering text messages not answering video calls you gonna show him take it you taking him back because you finna take a buck through there. But that don't happen all the time. Most of the time, the take backs are not because they are about to do that. You know? Every now and then, you run across a real one that she like, I got some for you, Joker. And then we're going to be done after I do that. You know? But a lot of times, you know, the take back is from a, an empty place. You're taking him back because you need him to fill that void. There's a void in you. And, and possibly it comes from the hurt that he's caused you. So it's like the same, the same thing that caused you pain, you using that to fix the pain. And that's not how that works. When you hurt and you done been damaged and, and, and you have to work that out. That person can't work that out for you. You have to work that out. And usually after you have really worked that out and that man is not your husband. When you really have put in the time and effort to work through that pain and that hurt that that man caused you, after you put in the work, you don't let him spin the block. That's why a lot of times you know when a person ain't put in the work. You ain't put in the work, you just talk good. You ain't really put in the work. You know it's going to take some work, but you have not really put in the work and the time to get over that man. How I know because you keep letting him come back. You keep letting him play a part in your life. And when you really have put in the time and the effort to get over the damage he's caused you, you know that it's, it's not, it's no way I could take this risk again. There's no way I could take this risk knowing that you're the same person. Knowing that you have not put it anywhere. You have not tried to change. You're still who you are. And I have been putting in work and time and effort, listening to podcasts, reading books, going to, to, to conferences, like praying, like really trying to get my life therapy, really trying to fix my life from what you caused. I've paid money to help fix my life. When you have really did that type of work, you don't let that same person come in that easy. You don't just keep taking them back. You don't just keep entertaining them. You don't just keep feeling like you have an obligation to them. No. The work that you're doing is, is, is cutting through all of that fluff. All of those ideologies that you have in your mind. Oh, I owe him. Oh, he don't have any family. Oh, he used to be good to me. Oh, this. Oh, that. When you start doing the work, it starts cutting through all of that. So yeah, all of what you're saying may be true, but you no longer use that as your crutch to keep taking him back whenever he has done so much damage. You keep taking him back because you don't want to be the only one without a man. Maybe your whole crew is either married or they have a man and you don't want to be the fifth wheel. So you will, you will allow yourself to keep, you know, keep him on deck. Just so it could be, you know, a couple's thing all the time. 
even if you the one fit, foot in the whole bill. Every time y'all go out, your man, you know, your your homegirls, they 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 man, they you know, pulling out their cars, they paying da da da. You got to either slip him the money before y'all get in there under the table so that it looks like he's able to do the same thing. You either got to slip him the money or the card so that it looks like he's able to do what they do. Whole time y'all knowing like, nah, that ain't the case. Your homegirls knowing that man ain't got no money. You know, like, and the crazy thing is like, and this is a true story. You know, I had a friend that I felt like she could do so much better than the dude she was choosing because he wasn't treating her well, and I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And a lot of times, your friends, your friends sometimes see things in you that you don't see. And that's why sometimes, you know, I ain't talking about when you got a friend that's a hater. And she low key don't like you and envious and, and got beef for you and jealous. I ain't talking about those friends. I'm talking about the friends that they really, you know, have love for you and they really want to see the best for you because they see the best in you. I'm talking about those friends. And I mean, he was like low hanging fruit. Really, he was like a, oh, like, oh, uh, no. You know, like he loved up and, 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 and got you. He locked up and got you. You ain't, you really ain't even in his realm, my girl. And then he had the audacity to be moving around, acting like he used to your caliber. No, he ain't. And you know that, but he had wounded her so bad that it's like she just had settled. And truth be told, her, her the relationship she had before him really wounded her. So Buddy just looked up when he came across her and she was open to entertaining him. You know, because she didn't properly heal from her previous relationship. So when he starts moving funny, I'm like, oh no, my girl, this uh-uh, uh-uh, you know. Because, you know, we in our day, we thought we was something. I ain't gonna lie, you know. We thought we was something we could choose. We could have who we wanted, how we wanted, and we moved accordingly. You know what I'm saying? We carried ourselves in a certain way. Respect was there, you know, and we could just move how we wanted to move, you know. That don't mean everybody would, you know, you would have suitors that go out their way to, 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 to get at you, but that didn't mean that they treated you well once they got you. It's like you just, you was, you was a prize once they got you. Now it's, okay, I got you. You know, now they now they poking out their chest like, okay, you you know, they normally get people like you. Right. <clears throat> so I was like, I, I didn't like that. I didn't like how he was treating her because I didn't think that he was, you know, of her caliber anyways. You know, and I just, I never co-signed it, you know. And I just felt like, you know, he never did love her in the way that she deserved. To be loved, and I just stop it at that before I say too much and it reveals too much. But it made me a little emotional when I think about it because I I understood what she deserved, and I also understood what she got, and it when it didn't add up. But sometimes, you know, we'll just we'll take them back because we don't want to be the odd person out. We'll take them back because the last relationship didn't work out. And you definitely don't want this relationship to not work out. Because then it starts seeming like, okay, well, it's not that person. It must be you. And that's how you get a lot of people that end up staying in um, bad marriages again. First one didn't work out. So, so now it's the issue. You know, the first one didn't work out. You get you, you get it again and you don't wanna you know you get married again and you don't wanna seem like um it's you so you start staying in a situation that again you should leave <clears throat> but you don't want to because you don't want it to seem like hey it's always me I can't get it right I can't keep a man da -da -da. <clears throat> and I know the pressures that come with it. 
because I'm one of them. I done heard all the kind of things that have ever been said about me. Oh, she can't keep a man. Da -da 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 -da. No, she can't keep the ones that y'all like because y'all like the ones that got to drive your cars and stuff. No, baby, she don't keep them. She don't like them. She wasn't raised like that. So, you have to understand that there's different reasons why she's taking him back. You know, and if that's your friend or if that's your, um, your sister, your family, whatever, you know. Try to give them a little bit of grace and understand that there's reasons, you know. It ain't just, how you doing? It ain't just that she loves him, but there's some other things at play as to why she keep taking him back. But I am going to the orthodontist, so I will see y'all later. Have a good one.